Hyundai is gaining a reputation for attractive cars with value pricing. Now they're moving high tech. This Sonata is their first hybrid, which they call Blue Drive. Emissions wise, it's very green. Sonata is not the only sedan available as a hybrid. The Kia Optima, this car's cousin, also has that option. Toyota makes the Camry and Ford sells the Fusion and Lincoln MKZ. Sonata Hybrid gets bold front and rear fascias that are very aerodynamic. So are the wheels. Power comes from these nuclear cells in the tail lamps. All right, kidding, but they and the headlamps look awfully cool. Blue Drive pairs a four-cylinder engine and an electric motor for a total of 206 horsepower. Unique in this class is a six-speed gearbox. It even gets a manual shift mode. Most hybrids use continuously variable transmissions. This is where my unusual test comes in handy. Sonata Hybrid's batteries are in the trunk here. The standard 12-volt unit is in back. A lithium polymer pack powers the drivetrain. It's lighter and smaller than the usual nickel metal hydride cells. Still takes up space, though. A standard Sonata easily holds seven bundles of TP. The hybrid, a tight six. Sonata Blue Drive pulls away on electric power, staying there longer than most hybrids before the gas engine smoothly feathers in. It's quicker than a Prius and can cruise on electric power alone at up to 62 miles an hour. Hyundai has tuned Blue Drive for maximum highway MPG. The EPA rates it at 35 city, 40 highway. Mind this eco gauge that replaces the tack to eke out better fuel economy. A hybrid energy flow graphic in the cluster shows what's happening with the engine power and battery regeneration. Driving dynamics are set for comfort. Road noise is average. Easy to tell it's a regenerative braking system that charges the battery because like many hybrids, the pedal feel is a bit uneven. Sonata's transmission performance is not as smooth or satisfying as Ford or Toyota's system. In cut and thrust urban driving, it takes a precious second or two to find the right ratio. This is less obvious during milder driving, but still can be felt. The interior is classic Sonata with materials looking good in class. Seats are especially soft. This base model is well equipped with decent sound system, iPod and phone integration, plus keyless ignition. Details are done well right down to the chimes. That's shut down, here's start up. Anybody hear the NBC theme in there? Order the $5,000 option package to get automatic climate control, leather seats, navigation, and sunroof. The color display between the gauges looks better than some in luxury cars. Lighting is a pleasant deep indigo. Cloth seats have a pleasant look about them. Like the standard Sonata, the hybrid's back seat is roomy enough for three adults. However, the seat backs don't split and fold because of the battery. There's a ski pass through, that's it. Plenty of leg and foot room, map pockets on both seats. I'd like to see a power port here to charge electronics though. Talking to the Hyundai folks about the Blue Drive name, it's apparently a reference to blue skies and clean air. Kind of refreshing to see them getting away from the color green as the default eco symbolism. Sonata Hybrid retails at about $26,500 with destination. The standard Sonata gets excellent fuel economy. It would take quite a while to make up the price premium. If you want an environmentally clean sedan and a clean conscience, Blue Drive is a greener Sonata. In the real world, I ended up with gas mileage of about 29 miles per gallon, driving it with my normal lead foot to the floor. Not as good as Prius, but it's no slouch. The startup tone really does sound like the NBC theme. GEC, you know what that stands for? General Electric Company. In addition to the new front and rear fascias, there are louvers in the grill that shut to improve aerodynamics. That partially offsets the weight gain of the hybrid system, which is about 280 pounds. By the way, Sonata Hybrid is the lightest vehicle in the segment at just 3,480 pounds, 230 pounds lighter than the Fusion Hybrid. If you stop and think about it, it's kind of surprising that Prius has done as well as it has in our marketplace, considering Americans like their sedans, we're not too crazy about hatchbacks. It'll be interesting to see how Sonata does in the marketplace here. That's Driven, I'm Tom Volk.